Hi there, welcome to my channel. I just wanted to show some love to the iPhone SE 2020 in today's video because it's often overshadowed by the more expensive models, but this is technically and currently before the iPhone 12 is announced next month, the newest iPhone which came out earlier this year. So it has a tried and true build. Those familiar with the iPhone 8 would tell you how much they love how that phone feels, and it shares the same specs with a couple major upgrades, the main upgrade being the A13 Bionic chip inside of it. So before this turns into a full-on phone review, I wanted to show off this case for it. I'm a huge fan of the mirror case brand of iPhone cases from Amazon, and I have one for my iPhone 11, and now we have one for Sugarberry Smash's iPhone SE 2020. Inside this box is a full body rugged clear case that has bumpers on each corner with a very special feature. This case has a built-in tempered glass screen protector on the front, and it's actually pretty functional. I've had cases with built-in screen protectors but they were really cheap, that plastic feeling kind, and oftentimes they felt really filmy. So you'd have to press down really hard on the screen to get any kind of input. But since this is a voiceover, I know the feature and I've actually tried out the phone in the case and it feels like any other screen protector or any other tempered glass screen protector. My only piece of advice would be to remove the screen protector on your phone if you have one installed already because the one built into this case is pretty legit. So essentially, if you just got the iPhone iPhone SE 2020, you don't have a case or a screen protector, this is an all-in-one package to get your phone safe and pretty much life-proof from everyday accidents. In addition to the tempered glass front, the back panel is clear and made out of 9-inch glass. So it's perfect for those who want that clear backing to show off their phone color or if you're like us, we put decals in the back of all of our devices to show off our various amounts of fandoms for whatever it may be. And lastly, this case does support wireless charging. So now let's move on to get a better look at this case and the whole installation process, which is actually really simple. So the case itself isn't too much thicker than the iPhone SE 2020, but it's thick enough to provide a nice amount of protection. All of the buttons on the case are responsive and everything has a nice clean design and a very good cutout for the silent switch on the iPhone, as you can see right there. I really appreciate that they put plastic coverings on the inside and outside of the tempered glass portions of the case. And it's good to know that they put a nice styrofoam rectangular piece inside to keep everything safe and secure while it's shipped to you. So the next step is to obviously get the phone inside of the case. And before I do that, there's actually some instructions that I showed off earlier too. And I advise that you read those instructions before installing the case. I kind of emphasize that because I'm the type to just toss directions and go at it at my own pace. But these instructions are actually very helpful. So to get started, we need to get that front portion off and you do that by lifting that little yellow tab on the bottom right corner. But keep in mind, after you peel off the plastic from the inner portion, that little yellow tab will not be there next time you want to remove the case. So all you have to do is kind of get your fingernail into that seam where that front cover meets the back on the lower right corner and it comes off at that portion. So the next step is to put the front of the case onto the iPhone SE 2020. And I mentioned earlier that the tempered glass built into this case is pretty legit. And don't forget to remove the inside plastic or else your phone will look very bubbly. But to make life a bit easier when texting or to get more accurate input, I'd highly suggest removing the screen protector on your iPhone if you have one on your phone already. But going back to the case, it just snaps on like that really easily and simply. I keep mentioning the screen protector thing because we learned our lesson the hard way after getting everything nice and set up. Personally, I had no idea that having two screen protectors on a phone would affect input that much, but it does. And soon after I opened the case up, removed the screen protector attached to the phone, and popped it back into the case, the phone went back to normal input-wise, and the tempered glass screen protector built into the case worked just fine with the phone. Anyway, here's the back portion of the case with a clear panel, and just like the front, don't forget to pull on that little yellow tab to remove the plastic on the inside of the back portion of the case. So the instructions say to start at the bottom and put the phone in at an angle, and shortly after that, everything just snaps into place, and you press onto the sides and on the top, and everything just fits very nicely. The whole case looks flush, all intact, and everything is installed. The only thing left to do now is to remove the rest of the plastic covers on the front and back of the case. And as I remove this little plastic covering, 
Wow, the tempered glass on the front looks flawless. So another benefit of having a built-in screen protector is that there are virtually no bubbles. Whenever I put a new screen protector on, I always get a few bubbles and, you know, over a day or two, most go away, but one or two seem to linger and your eyes just ignore it and adjust over time. So with this case, right from the start, everything is clear and looks really clean. The silent switch is easy to use, and with a lot of thicker cases, that's always an issue, so that's good to see. The lock button on the side presses in very easily, and I'm really loving this red outline mixed with the white iPhone SE. It just makes it pop so nicely. Overall, the case doesn't add too much girth to the phone. It actually makes it a bit easier to hold. Since the SE 2020 is smaller than your average smartphone nowadays and a bit thinner, it does feel fragile, but this case does alleviate that a bit. And finally got that back plastic cover off and now you can see the beautiful finish of the back of the iPhone SE 2020. And fun fact, you know it's a 2020 model because they actually censored the Apple logo. I have no idea why they had the logo a bit higher back then, but aesthetically the newer iPhone models with the censored logo look so much better. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention this case is $13.99 on Amazon and I'll drop a link down below in the description for those interested in checking that out. Other than that, thank you so much for checking out this video and I forgot to show off our finished product. Since the back is clear and I mentioned earlier that we like to put decals on our phones, we had a Kiba and Akamaru decal that fit perfectly on the back of this iPhone SE 2020 and I think it turned out pretty nicely. Anyway. Hope y'all enjoyed this video. If you like this one, feel free to check out these others. They might interest you in some way. And if you really liked hanging out with me today, please consider subscribing to be the first to know when I upload something new. With that said, I'll see you all soon. Please stay safe out there.